we're going to replace the DesignJet T520 main logic PCA board. That's what this board is here. HP's integrated a lot of components under this board. It's got a Wi-Fi board along with the Ethernet and USB connectors and also has the formatting uh, capabilities with it. First thing we need to do is take this bottom front trim piece off. It's just held by um, plastic tabs on each end that can be wiggled off from below. If you grab it below with your fingers and wiggle it, it'll come off. And then we need to take the ink cover door off. It just has a hinge with a couple tabs that wiggle off. It's uh, pretty hard plastic. It's hard to break it so you can be firm with it and it should come off. Right there's the hinges right here. Okay with those two covers off we can take the left cover off which requires opening the window. There's one screw here. That when there's a screw down here, right down here. So there's two screws on the inside. On the outside, with this hinge cover door off, you can access that screw hole there, that screw there. There's also a screw down there. And make sure you unplug it, power connector right there those screws off the cover comes off and right behind that cover is the, the board the board we want to replace with that cover off we'll have to uh, remove this trim piece There's just two screws holding it there and then the the board itself has two screws here on the end Also has screws right there and down there. Speaking of screws, you're going to have you need a Torx screwdriver, Torx 20 T20 for the covers, and a Torx T10 for the main board. You can see the main board there with all the connections. The main board that we're going to replace. So with the covers off and the screws off, just a matter of taking all these ribbon cables, real fine ribbon cables. When you take those out, make sure you get them in straight and you don't want to get any kinks in the line or it could short them out. Get a good look at all that. So I'm going to replace this board and then power up and see what happens. With the board removed, you see a lot of cables. Don't be intimidated by it because they all are certain length and size that they, you really can't uh, get the wrong cable put in when you reattach the new board. It's uh, pretty well organized. So that's what it looks like without the board in. board's going to go in this way. You're going to have these two screw holes are going to fit right down there and then reattach everything. So I'll pause now.